الصبح بدا بدا الصبح بدا بدا الصبح بدا بدا الصبح بدا But let me tell you uh, why we Muslims regard Ramadan as the best time of the year for us and why we have every reason to believe that it could be that this Ramadan might become a turning point in curving down, slowing down and eventually maybe uh, breaking the current curse or the current pandemic, the calamity that has afflicted, as I said, more or less every part of the world and so many people all over the world. We Muslims, my dear brothers and sisters, we use Ramadan as a unique annual occasion to grow in faith, to purify our souls, Fasting in the blessed month of Ramadan is indeed a very unique annual opportunity or occasion which is practiced by a large percentage of Muslims all over the world, making it maybe the biggest global spiritual experience in the, wor in the world right now. And I actually believe that the percentage of Muslims who are observing fasting this year is grown because of the current pandemic. I really do believe so, because I remember the times of war in Bosnia, the mosques were absolutely full. People who never really wanted to pray and didn't think much about religion or God or connecting with Allah, they came back to their senses in times of crisis and difficulty. True, real fear, that was real fear and, and shortage of this and that, resources. But here we do have some, let's say, elements of fear. And maybe we are lacking in certain resources, although, as you know, the supermarkets are pretty full and we can more or less still buy whatever we like. We can order online still more or less any gadget, any toy, anything for our house or for our children or families or friends as we like. It may be delivered slightly... Uh, in a longer time than what we were used to, but uh, you will still probably get it. So indeed, we have every reason to believe that many more Muslims have now taken up this opportunity to obey Allah's command of fasting in the blessed month of Ramadan. But the question really is, why do we observe fasting in Ramadan? What is it that encourages us Muslims to take advantage of this unique opportunity, which is a very special, as I told you, annual experience or drill that we have been given, prescribed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Our hadith traditions indicate that rewards and, and blessings of fasting, the benefits of fasting are countless. Uh, they are all, the full benefits or blessings of fasting are known only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can literally uh, sit down and try to enumerate how many blessings and benefits uh, we have from fasting in the blessed month of Ramadan and you might run out of paper or ink because there are so many blessings and most of the blessings maybe we are not even aware of. So we say only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the true full benefits of fasting. It is indeed a unique opportunity for us to develop spiritually, to gain strength and control over ourselves, especially to subdue our egos, which in my opinion is the one true whale between us humans and our Creator, our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, we Muslims first and foremost, fast, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to do so. So by fasting in the month of Ramadan, by observing fasts during the daytime, from the early dawn until the sunset, we express our 
obedience and servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Intithal al-awamir. It is the act of ubudiyya, tadhallu. We do so because we obey Allah's command. We want to serve our creator, our cherisher. We want to worship him because he created us for that very reason. And as you all know, fasting, of course, is one of the five pillars of our religion. It is indeed, you can argue, the most beneficial of all acts and deeds that we potentially can do. It's the most blessed. And indeed, if we do practice fasting, it is designed to empower us to overcome our egos, as I said, to transcend the nafs, to go beyond it, to, to spiritually rise and fly even high above maybe some of the angels. The Quran tells us very nicely and clearly in Surah Al-Baqarah, أَسْتَعِذُ بِاللَّهِ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُوا O you who believe, fasting has been prescribed for you as it was prescribed to the nations before you so that you may attain piety. Taqwa. So that you may develop taqwa or God consciousness. That too is a very important, maybe second most important reason as to why we fast in the blessed month of Ramadan. So we gain a tremendous spiritual purification or tazkiyah through fasting. Although we do tend to think that body and mind and spirit are all separate components, they are actually all interrelated and connected. Which really means that improvement in one would naturally affect the other. If you made improvement spiritually, it will also help your mind. And if you have helped or improved your thinking levels, that will also improve your physical level, your health, your body. Or other way around, you all know this famous saying, if you, have, if you exercise properly and if you have a healthy, yeah, if healthy body, if you are in a good physical shape, stamina, of course, they say your spirit also is feeling good, happy. So we too also believe that when we fast and we purify our inner self, our soul, nafs, our spirit, at the same time we are also enhancing our mind, our psyche, and also we are enhancing our health too. So. By fasting in Ramadan, we gain more clarity, more sensitivity, and a better health. So, our Prophet ﷺ said in one of his sayings, fast in order to become healthy. Wow, what a beautiful advice. A very short, concise nasiha by our beloved Prophet ﷺ. Fast so that you may become healthy. And it is really like that. It has now been scientifically documented and demonstrated that one of the most effective factors in improving human health and longevity is the reduction of intake. Basically, it means eating less, i.e. fasting. And you all know that fasting has been practiced for so many years thousands and thousands of years as a means of preventive medicine. You know, not maybe a strict fasting like we observe Muslims in the month of Ramadan, but it has been used for thousands and thousands of years. And the Quran even tells us other religious communities of the past observed fasting, probably very similar to our fasting, if not identical. But on the other hand, we know for a fact that for so many years, fasting has been used in medicine. 
okay it has been used in medicine and arguably you can say maybe all doctors will come to agree on this at one day what is the best thing that will improve our overall health and longevity of our life is not necessarily building amazing homes you know really uh, rock solid buildings uh, and having amazing bed and furniture in the house and the clothes which is you know nicely made uh, and looks elegant and you know toothbrush and the things that we probably have yes maybe they've also helped and you know uh, it has maybe made certain people last longer and and at least experience a better life uh, and more comfortable and pleasant life uh, however it seems that it is really fasting l l eating less that is the main reason why one would probably prolong their life it will give longevity to their life and it also will make them look younger for a much longer period of time sometimes we wonder some of the famous celebrities that we see you know on the screens or in the newspapers magazines well, how so and so can look still quite young and they are 60 plus, 70 plus. Well, I'm just wondering what kind of cream or chemicals they are using to, uh, to gain that shape and to look so young and to have, you know, like a really nice and smooth skin. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, if you ask most of those people, in fact, some of them have spoken out nicely and frankly about it. It's really fasting. They'll tell you, Mm, very disciplined diet. That's what has led it, led to that state that they are enjoying of their body. It is really less eating or being very caref careful in what we eat. So basically, in other words, it's fasting. Those people might not be fasting for the right reasons. May Allah protect us and make us do all of our ibadat for Allah's sake alone. But still we learn from them as well that by taking less food or by eating healthily, we can indeed improve our overall health and also longevity to our life and even look younger or look nicer. So what the uh, physicians have told us in recent times is that they have all come to realize and learn that fasting allows the digestive system which is the very engine of our body okay important part of our body to have a proper rest to rest from the demands yet yeah, the difficulties of processing and breaking down food so uh, this is really important like I give you an example of, of you all of us I guess drive or have a vehicle uh, we all have to make sure that we service our vehicle at least annually once a year we have to refresh yeah we say the brain of the engine like we change the oil filter the fuel filter and things like that and then the engine you know has this fresh proper intake again and it can run smoothly and nicely it will not break down in the same way we should think of our bodies like that we can't just throw things down our throat constantly and carelessly and whatever it is sugary this and that this and that, rubbish of that sort garbage of that sort we put it in and we think that you know the this engine of our body yeah the digestive system is so tough and powerful it's just going to crash it you know do it distract all the good you know uh, proteins and uh, elements from it and the waste will come out normally and you, you you totally anticipate that you won't have any problems in doing that and you more or less take it for granted well it doesn't seem like that you know our bodies have certain limits so we definitely need to look after our bodies it's our religious duty too and the prophet والسلام, told us اغتنم, take care of your health before you lose it and you are solely responsible for keeping yourself in good shape in good health and it's a lot to do with 
the intake, as I said, the foods and the drinks that we take into our bodies. Consumption, it's all to do with eating and drinking. What we eat and drink, when we eat and drink, how much we eat and drink. So the Quran tells us the norm. We always need to strike the balance, as I said earlier on. Moderation is a very important aspect of our religion. The Quran says very nicely in Surah Al-A'raf, Ya Bani Adam, khudhu zinatakum inda kulli masjidin wa kulu wa shrabu wa la tusrifu. Innahu la yuhibbu al-musrifin. O oh, the children of Adam, adorn yourself, beautify yourselves when you come to places of worship, every mosque. And the Quran says, do eat and drink, but do not exceed in limits. Don't be excessive in what you eat and drink. And now we are fasting. Are we not okay? We have stopped eating around 4 o'clock, 4 a.m. this morning. In, in fact, a little bit earlier in Cambridge. And it's now quite late uh, in the afternoon. And 8, 9 o'clock, we are going to break our fast. We'll be fine. We will absolutely survive. Nothing will happen to us. We've done this for the last few days and it's past a week now. This is second Friday of Ramadan. <laughs>